Welcome back to the sweatshop boys and girls. Today we are welcoming a new piece of equipment into the sweatshop. It is a brand new power washer. I opted for the Sunjo brand of power washer because the Simonized pile of garbage has consistently let me down. I have had three pile of junk machines from Simonized and Canadian Tire and unfortunately they just they have it timed perfectly where it dies right after the warranty. So I have officially given up on Simonized and decided to to get something from the Home Depot. This particular one is 3000 max PSI and it's working PSI is 2300 I think it was. So we're gonna unbox this thing live in front of you and hope to God that it's something that we as well as you at home like. The only tools you'll need to unbox this thing is a knife. So let's get started. Um, the packaging I noticed was pretty beat up when I received it. I had to go to curbside pickup because I purchased it through the lockdown here in Ontario, which was fun. It is still continuing as we speak, my friends. Uh, hopefully it is over soon. Packaging, oh, the tips, look at those tips, nice. We have the holes. We have some useless package. Oh, some plastic to hold those tips. We have some more plastic. So it looks like some assembly will be required. Yeah, there is some stuff there that we're going to need to put together. And we have a pressure wand. I can tell you right now, boys and girls, it definitely looks a lot better than that. Well, here, I'll show you. This pile of junk. Oh, check it out. It's got some, uh, it's got a foam handle. It should be comfortable for my hands. As you get older, you like the comfort in life, so look at this shit, that's a big ass wheel. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Okay, well, there's a few more things in here. We got a long ass power cord with a with a circuit breaker right on the on the uh, plug. That's kind of kind of cool. It's got a bucket, here's your wand. So I'm gonna pull this unit out and then I'm going to put it all together. So far I only see the one wheel, hopefully the other one's not missing because this box looks like it may have been opened up or at least kicked around the warehouse a few times. I'm gonna pull the rest of the stuff out of this thing and we'll put it all together and show you what it looks like as a finish, finished product. Well, here's a look at the owner's manual. You can get extra coverage from this company, which is kind of cool. Simonized, to my knowledge, doesn't offer that. Um, they definitely didn't with that pile of junk, nor did Canadian Tire want to help me. There's also a number that you can reach out to right on the uh, front here of the owner's manual. Okay. Looks like we're going to sneak those wheels in first. I'll probably open up that owner's manual just to see some pictures and put it all together. So we have three versions of it. You got a French, English, and Spanish owner's manuals. Quite thoughtful, Sanjo. Appreciate that. Now let's just hope that the product is as good as the packaging and owner's manual. Well, I haven't read the owner's manual yet, but let's see. Well, check this out, boys and girls. It's relatively well detailed in here, and they've got picture guide, because I personally don't like reading. I just like looking at stuff and figuring it out really quickly, unless I get into a jam, and then I usually read. Yeah, pretty detailed and easy to follow. We're going to go ahead, follow all the instructions, and I will see you back when I put this. I've said that like six times already. Well, yeah, check it out. All right. Look at this, boys and girls. We're making progress. The wheels are already on. Uh, you don't even need tools. You just need hands. Pretty easy. I mean, all you got to do is sneak those wheels in, put the washer behind and the cotter pin, and you're good to go. Let's get to the top section of this thing now. Well, boys and girls, there is quite a few things I actually like right off the hop. There are these little labels on the nozzles, which are quite nice. The hose seems to be of really nice quality. And uh, there's a place for everything, which is really nice. You've got a place for your... Cable on this side here, you've got a place for your nozzle on this side here, and then you've got a place for your holes here. Um, there's also a pressure adjustment, what looks to be a pressure adjustment, and a soap bucket in the front there, which works with the nozzle. Can't wait to try it out, man. It looks, looks fairly decent. Kind of excited, man. It's, not, it's always nice to get new equipment. I just hope that it withstands the test of time. The nice thing is there is also a little rack section here where you can store your nozzles so they're not anywhere else and they're on the machine. Most machines are like that nowadays. The one thing that I don't really like that I saw is 
there is inside the nozzle there there is that little o-ring those things are a pain in the ass and can really be not so much fun if it decides to leak the good thing is i mean it's at the nozzle so whatever you're not going to really be you know pulling this apart on and off too often i mean for myself um, i'll probably be swapping between the soap and the 15 degree that's usually what i use there are o-rings everywhere else not really an issue because no one really takes the hoses and all that stuff apart if you do take it apart frequently they may be a point of soreness later on down the road when you are putting it together be sure to put a little bit of wd-40 on the o-rings when putting them in for all the little holes connections specifically on the handle here and on the other end you want to use a little bit of wd-40 and then all we need to do is give it some water on this side here and some electricity and test this guy out see what she does test this guy out see what she does i made it sound all screwed up like half our kids out there today i'm gonna double check with my wife before i put that one in the video okay so yeah all that's left to do now is to give her a test and see what uh, what she performs like okay so i have fed water to the machine with my repaired water hose you be sure to check out that video uh in case you're in a pandemic situation and can't get a new one we have given the machine electricity as well and it did say in the manual you want to push the test button we did that we have also filled up a little bit of soap in the bucket here once turning the water onto the machine i did take the handle off and run some water through it without actually putting any power on just so we know that there's no air locks that way if there is any air locks in the system it's not terrible for your machine now we can go ahead turn it on sounds pretty good it was nice and quick there's pressure there just pick the appropriate nozzle that you want to spray and test let's try zero see what that looks like first it is a quick release just push it on like that and then to release it pull back on this brass collar and it'll pop out like I say, the only thing that I'm kind of concerned about is that O-ring in there. Whatever, not the worst thing to replace or to deal with if it is leaking. Now, let's see how this thing fires. So this is the zero degree nozzle. That is at minimum pressure. Let's turn it up to max and see what happens. I don't see much of a difference, but it's kind of nice having that pressure adjustment there. Let's try out the next nozzle up which is the 15. That's the one I usually use for everything. That seems pretty good to me. Let's see what that uh, 25 degrees got in store for us. That's not bad. Lastly, we got our 40 degree angle. Seem pretty decent to me and now let's try our soap nozzle let's see if we get some soap coming out of this guy oh yeah i don't see any soap yet there it is Well, boys and girls, I can tell you that the uh, Sunjo is kicking the crap out of the Simonize brand so far. Uh, the soap attachment works, unlike the Simonize, which didn't work out of the box. So I am happy. Now all we got to do is find something to wash and give her some uh, give her some work to do. See how she pans out. Hopefully, she lasts this time next year. I'll probably be doing another review just to keep you guys up to date on what I think of the machine and tell you how it's performed, if there's been any issues, and uh, if it's let me down. So my initial thoughts for the Sunjo is that uh, it is beating the hell out of the Simonize machine. Two things, it obviously takes up a little bit more space than my Simonize did, which I don't really mind to be honest with you, reason being is because the Simonize couldn't figure out whether it was standing or sitting. It would consistently fall over as if it was drunk. It was a pretty crappy design, really rather annoying, it would consistently fall over on his face in this section here 
which was not so good for the hose and potentially could break it. One other thing that you'll notice in the packaging is that the Sanjo send you what looks like a grenade pin of some sort for a really small weak grenade but in fact this is just a little needle so you can poke through the filter if any debris gets in on the inlet side and I believe it was for cleaning the nozzles as well. You can check the owner's manual to confirm that. Other than that man I'm pretty happy with it. It functions right out of the box as it should the soap nozzle works i can't say the same was the case with the simonized machine the simonized machine didn't work right out of the box in terms of the soap nozzle everything else did but from day one it was a real bucket because it would consistently fall over uh the previous simonized didn't have that issue as so much the previous simonized is Simonized machines that I had were a bit better, a little bit more durable, but uh, I'm just tired of replacing them every two years. I think it's rather useless. I opted to go for a, an electric power washer because I didn't want to get another gas product or something for me to maintain. I just don't have the time to sort of maintain those things. You know, gas is definitely great. You know, you get quite a bit more power. It'll do a lot more. In my experience, they tend to be better, but I don't need the hassle of maintaining it, man. I'm happy with this. I'm only washing cars in the drive here and there. So uh, one thing that I noticed that was kind of weird on the spec sheet was the Sanjo has a very low intake of water. I think it was, it says 1.3 gallons per minute, which um, basically tells you that it's not going to be able to blast off unless you're really close to it because it's not going to have all sorts of water coming out the nozzle. Not necessarily an issue. I think if you're looking for something that's going to blast off all sorts of dirt and grime, you would want more water, then look at another machine. Mind you, I haven't tested it yet out on the grime, so we'll see how it is long term i'll be doing a follow-up video a year from now possibly letting you guys know what my experience is and how i like the machine until then stay tuned and as always thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of my new videos we will see you in the next one simon is simon is um uh uh, um, um, the, um, uh, um, 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 uh, uh, look, um, 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 uh, um, um, am I even in frame here? Um, uh, um, uh, no, um, uh, uh, sp um, and my neighbors are biting each other's heads off. Oh, for fuck's sake, fuck. I uh 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 by hitting that subscribe button uh, don't forget to hit that uh oh I should have said that after and of course if you like the video hit that like button definitely do share it and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my new videos we will see you in the next one